Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, I've just had a very, uh, <laughs> very nice delivery in the post yesterday. Um, but before I uh, show you what arrived, I just want to talk about uh, my kind of love of this uh, character, character stroke helmet and appreciation of it in, in general. So I've gathered together some um, reference books and I just want to talk about it a little bit rather than just do a video of the helmet itself because I think it, it deserves a little bit more um, a little bit more attention than just displaying the helmet with a bit of music behind it. Anyway, um, what I have here is uh, some books with some images and um, I really uh, am in love with this character and this helmet and it's the, the TIE Fighter pilot. Um, something about the TIE Fighter pilot which is, is even since I was a small kid really um, hit a chord with me and, uh, uh, and I think it's because I saw the comic strip production or read the comic strip production before I saw the film and it was this image here that really really um, caught my attention it says within the short range starships of the empire air giving helmets hide all life and all emotion and, and that 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 really struck a chord with me you know uh, obviously this is a highly stylized version of a tie fighter pilot um, but i'm sure that the artists of the marvel comic strip adaption uh, couldn't get hold of the of the reference they needed, so I'm sh a lot of it was kind of seat your pants, you know, making stuff up as you go along. Um, but I love this image; it's real pop art. It's really beautiful. Um, and later on, in the same adaption, when they appear again, uh, they're, they're changed again. I'll, I'll show you. Uh, where is it? Yeah, here. So there again. Um, again, there's a time fighter pilot. And there's a stormtrooper behind with um, air hoses. So, you know, they were kind of, you know, sort of making it up as they went along. And then why not? Because this, you know, this is the sort of stuff I really love, you know. And um, there was one final image before the end. Again, there we go again. And that is another version. <laughs> uh, so fantastic stuff. So we'll just move on to the next book. Okay, so here we have a really beautiful picture of a screen used helmet. Uh, and this is from the, uh, the two, I think it was 2000, Magic of Myth, uh, the Museum of Moving Image or MOMI, uh, that toured, toured uh, the world. And luckily I was uh, 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 lucky enough to have the chance to see this helmet and suit in person in uh, the Barbican Exhibition Centre in London uh, and that's a really 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 great example of a, a, a tie helmet no decals uh, to distinguish it this this isn't a, um, a backstabber or a mauler or a lieutenant or six show or, or shoot show however it's pronounced it's just your classic black tie fighter pilot helmet and, and you know nice and clean and, and simple and, and, and just ha as it should be really now this next book is uh, a book that somebody, uh, some of you rather, may be familiar with. It's called uh, From Concept to Screen Collectible and it was it's quite an old book. I think this came out over 20, 25 years ago I think. But in it is, is a real gem and trust me I have googled this and tried to find extra images of it and it does not exist even on Google. Now I'll, I'll try and get in there and get that in focus if I can. Can I get that in focus? Come on, get in focus. That is, believe it or not, a fiberglass TIE Fighter pilot helmet that was available almost 30, no, no, before that, no, this was this was uh, uh, released by a, uh, a Japanese company called uh, Shigeru Humano, and they made this uh, really, really beautiful fiberglass helmet with hoses and a chest box out of fiberglass. Now this was commercially available, but obviously only in Japan. But uh, trust me, if you Google this, you can't find it. It's just not there. So what a beautiful, beautiful, rare thing that is there. 
And this this is a great uh, great book. I don't know if you've come across this before uh, by Dora Kinsley or Dave DK, uh, the Visual Dictionaries. Now this is one just from the original trilogy. Uh, these things are invaluable, really. The information they give you it tells you all about the type pilot, you know, gas transfer hoses, ship linked communications in the ear pieces, reinforced helmet and uh, it's just a lovely lovely reference book if you're ever going to do any um, custom paints you know this has got the original screen used props in it so I, I really strongly suggest that you, uh, you check these out. Now this is a very early storyboard by Alex Tavares or Tuvalaris rather and um, this is a really, really early sketch of a uh, Thai pilot. Um, you know, we're talking uh, before the filming even started, obviously very, very early. And this, again, by the same storyboard artist, clearly a, a, a Thai fighter pilot there. And I think you're talking 1975, 76 here. This is super early. I think some of these images are... Uh, probably some of the earliest ever of this uh, character from the original trilogy. Now, this this painting is um, a painting that I'm sure uh, hardened Star Wars fans will be very familiar with. This is uh, by Ralph Macquarie. Now, Ralph Macquarie was commissioned to do a series of knockout paintings to present to the board at 20th Century Fox to try and get the funding and the green light go on this film and uh, he produced what we now know of as the uh, Star Wars portfolio uh, and apparently according to George Lucas this was the painting that gave them the okay wow if you can do this if you can make this on the screen if you can achieve this look uh, we're all for it so we have a lot to thank for this painting and uh, yeah, I mean, I can see why they went for it. Not that much different. Obviously, the hoses are on the back of the head rather than on the front, um, but not too dissimilar to what we ended up with in the finished film. Now, now this book here, Star Wars Costumes of the Original Trilogy, this is a real treasure trove. If you do not have this book, I really strongly suggest you go out and get it. Uh, it is very, very big, thick heavy book and at the moment still quite affordable but I'm sure this is going to shoot up in value uh, but this this contains all the original suits and all the original props and there is a really really lovely section on the, uh, the TIE pilot so there we have an original screen used TIE fighter pilot suit uh, again nice and simple no distinguishing uh, markings this is just a, a, a normal TIE pilot and as you can see, it's just a kind of a black flight suit, boiler suit with German jack boots, black gloves, chest box, chest armor, and the helmet we all know and love. And here on the other side, we have some, I think that must be John Molo. Yeah, John Molo or John Molo. Uh, conceptual art for Vader on the right there and the TIE fighter pilot on the left. TIE fighter pilot again, and then the genuine article, isn't that beautiful? Ah, with the smoke bubble lenses, fantastic. I really, really, really do love this character and this helmet. Anyway, next video I'm gonna upload is of the, uh, the new helmet to add to my collection. I hope you're all well, I hope you're all uh, keeping safe and uh, may the force be with you and I'll, I'll see you soon for the uh, review of the actual helmet by David from Star Wars Movie Props. Take care.